guys, welcome back to the shenanigans. It's Monday, November, what, 14th? Yeah, November 14th. We're gonna go to a concert on Wednesday. That should be really fun. Out of all of the friends that I've made here in Taipei, very few of them have gone to concerts here. And so I'm really excited to get to go to one. Tomorrow, Tuesday, I have to present for my research methods class. I'm not worried about it. I'm just more anxious that I either didn't do something right or I'm gonna get, like my research proposal is gonna just get ripped to shreds um, in class. We have a couple things coming up. Otherwise, we're gonna, right now, we are going to go to a cafe that looks like really magical. It's up on a higher floor of um, one of the buildings downtown. And so I'm excited. Hopefully it's not too busy. I'm really looking forward to it. Without further ado, let's head on over. Thanks for being here. Let's get everything going. I hope you can hear me. We are in and around the Nanjing Fuxing area. We're right by the MRT. We're currently in a very pretty park. That was Library 134. It's technically like three or four stories, so it's pretty big. Um, I had a pineapple apple smoothie something. It wasn't tea. It was very good. I definitely recommend it. We're gonna get back on the MRT and head back to campus. Wednesday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I had a big presentation. Well, big presentation, but it was also super fast, but it just like took up a lot of my time, taking up a lot of my energy. So now that's over with. Now it is Wednesday. 
Um, I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm going to kind of chat with you while I do my makeup here. This morning, I was greeted with a package from my mom, and I was so, like, excited and happy about that. I haven't obviously got to see them in how many months, and I'm not going back for winter break, so it was good to get a little package from her. She sent a bunch of stuff I did not need, but... It's still nice to get. She did send me Benadryl, which is huge because maybe it's just me, but I can't find Benadryl anywhere in Taiwan. And um, fun fact, I have a pretty severe tree nut allergy. And I accidentally had curry when I was out with some friends once, which was not fun. And so curry has cashews. And I started to swell up. Thankfully, Ethan, shout out to you, had Benadryl, which was really, really great. Um, but then I wasn't able to track anything down. I know everyone has a different mascara face, face they make when they put on mascara. So don't judge mine. <laughs> but in lighter news, today, Wednesday, I'm going to Eric Nam with a friend. I'm very excited. Um, Nam Nation represent... He was actually in Minneapolis on my birthday this last year, um, but I couldn't go. I didn't get tickets. I wasn't able to. I would have loved to see him at my good old... I forget where he was supposed to perform. I think he was going to be at First Ave or something. Um, and for any of my Minnesota friends, you know where that is. But he is going to be at Legacy Taipei tonight. I'm very excited. The ticket process in order to get the tickets was so strange and so, like, so foreign to me because I haven't had a physical ticket for, like, a concert or any type of event in, honestly, years. Like, probably even pre-pandemic. Because everything was just been on my phone. Like, you just get a little electronic QR code or a scan, and then you scan it and go, right? These you had to... So we, I paid for them online. And then I... Once we got closer to the day, I had to run to the 7-Eleven and go to the Ibon machine and actually, like, print the tickets. Which was very strange, but it worked really well. It was pretty quick and simple. And now I got the physical tickets for the show. So that was kind of fun and different. Um, the process wasn't hard by any means. So on Friday, we have a orientation type of thing for my scholarship um, for here in Taiwan. So we have to go to, I think it's like a nice office building slash tiny convention center um, closer to downtown. And today I need to go and pick up my like badge or whatever my entrance documents requirements for that event on friday um that's gonna be like a whole half day thing i will try to vlog as much as that as possible and kind of bring you guys along however i really have no idea like what the vibe's gonna be what we're supposed to be doing there is technically an itinerary i haven't looked at it yet <laughs> it was in an email but that's what we have going on on Friday. Um, otherwise, I do have a another big presentation next week in yet another one of my classes. And so this weekend I have to dedicate some time to working on that. This is a pretty extensive presentation. I don't think it's actually like on the books points wise in order for passing the class. I'm not super worried about this presentation. As long as I get the information on slides and out of my mouth and into people's ears, I think that's, like, the bar. Hopefully I'm also going to hang out with some friends on Thursday. Um, a couple friends I don't get to see very often, which is great. But there's a fine line and a balance between vlogging my experience here in Taiwan and also being present for every experience that I'm having. Yeah, I want to have the video documentation be able to look back and be like, oh yeah, that's exactly what we did, and like, oh, it was so fun, or whatever. But I also want to have 
memories that are kind of just my own and that I can think back upon and not be worried that I wasn't present for anything because I don't want to have any, not regrets, but disappointments on how I was adapting. Also, it's not about numbers and it's really not that big of a deal, but for me, it's cool to see people like watching my content and actually like paying attention to my life and with every video I'm learning new editing tip stuff that I can apply to make my videos better in the future which is really cool um with that being said we hit 100 subscribers which is really cool okay are they even are they sisters or twins or distant relatives that live in opposite sides of the world who knows I'm going to grab the rest of my stuff for class and we are going to head down we still haven't had lunch or breakfast we have not eaten today I'm not sure what i'm craving i kind of am craving like fruit i feel like i need a tea too if i'm gonna go to a concert tonight i need to be awake this is kind of just a bunch of random days today's gonna be exciting later on with the concert um so yeah i will check in with you guys in a hot minute because your love is strong Okay, hi you guys! I'm filming on my phone from here on out. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's go see Eric now! I may or may not get burned because back in the US when it says general admission, right? Like you kind of have to get there early. Not sure what the vibe is in Taipei. Obviously I had class so I couldn't get there super early so... We made it inside. been so prevalent since moving to Taiwan. Anyways, hi you guys. It is Thursday evening at this point. The sun has gone down, but that bar is really low because the sun goes down at like five o'clock every day. I did just paint my nails. They're green, like a pale green. I was just kind of procrastinating some work and I had done work all day in the library, so I didn't needed a break um but yeah kind of fun and then tomorrow i will check in with you before we go to the orientation 
So yeah. I just finished working out. I am now going to get ready. We have to get to the orientation event that should take a good chunk of the afternoon. Hopefully it goes well. We're about to head out. Um, little outfit check. I'm just wearing some good old flats and this dress. Well, we are off to a great start. I'm in a dress, thank God. I literally just got a text. It's like a government event, so I need to cover my arms. I kind of love how chaotic this is right off the bat. Oh my God. Let's go find a sweater. It is so windy. We are running against the clock. However, we are walking through the very pretty CKS Memorial. It's gonna be closed. We have to get there by 1.30, so. you guys I just got back um ignore my appearance my hair has been through it today what a crazy day I haven't even eaten I have my dumplings here I'm gonna eat I have boba like really cool experience um and I'm very grateful but just like a crazy crazy day of like a lack of information and a bunch of stuff most of the information I already knew and it could have been articulated in an email. I understand the draw and the desire to have everybody meet together and do it in person and have this whole extravagant thing and it was cool to be a part of. It was really neat. However, it was just long and there was a clear lack of communication with everything but I got a goodie bag full of stuff but I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, thanks for joining. I'm going to eat um, and yeah. Thanks for coming along, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! You must have been wrong, cause your love is strong.